Well, hello everyone. Hey, today I want to show you how we tow our 7,300-pound H2 Hummer behind our Tiffin motorhome. Now, you may ask, hey, Daryl, why are you guys towing a 7,300-pound H2 Hummer? And you know what? That's a fair question. And the reason we tow a Hummer is because, well, quite frankly, it's been paid off for about 14 years. And we just didn't want the extra expense of purchasing another vehicle just so we could flat tow something smaller and lighter. We did a video a few videos back about dolly towing, flat towing, or trailer towing, and I mentioned in that as well, we try to use our current vehicles that we have to, to tow if at all possible. So, now let's talk about what you need if you want to flat tow basically any vehicle. Obviously, we need a tow bar. So we use the Blue Ox Avail tow bar. It has a 10,000 pound uh, tow capacity. Now they do have other models out there that range from 5,000 pounds up to 20,000 pounds. Now I actually keep a cover on mine because it helps, you know, protect your tow bar from some of the elements. But we're going to need some safety cables, coiled electrical cable, a breakaway cable, and I actually use gloves when I assemble all of this, and we need a brake system for the vehicle. I like the Blue Ox Patriot 3 because it's portable. If I do decide to tow, flat tow another vehicle, I can just move it from one to the other, so I like that. By the way, all of this is Blue Ox, and it'll all be linked down below in the description uh, should you need or desire to purchase any of this. And you're going to also need a base plate, and that's going to depend on the type of vehicle that you want to flat tow. With the H2 Hummer, all I had to do was remove the, the, the grab hooks here and install these brackets on each side, which is what I hook up the tow bars to. I also installed the six-way connection plug, and I had to install the breakaway, as well as these hooks here, which is where I hook the safety cables to. All right, so let's get started and show you how to put all this together. Okay, real quick, let's talk about the price of this tow system. I purchased the Blue Ox Avail Tow Bar Combo Package, which includes the tow bar, safety cables, the base plate, and the cover. Total price, $1,691. We purchased the breakaway cable with a breakaway switch. Price, $88.99. Next, the coiled electrical cable with six-way connector plug. Price, $98.99. We also purchased the bulb and socket tail light wiring kit. Price, $63.91. And lastly, I purchased the Patriot 3 brake system which was $1,595. Now, Blue Ox has actually replaced this model with a newer version that's coming in a couple hundred dollars cheaper than this one, actually. So, the total price to flat tow the H2 is $3,538.88. Keep in mind, I did all the install work myself, so I've saved about $1,500. So, if you have someone do the install for you, you're probably looking at close around $5,000 for the setup. Hey, by the way, our channel is about RVing and RV travel, along with some pretty cool motorcycle rides. So if that's something that might interest you, give us a look. And if you enjoy our content, we hope you'll subscribe and hit the bell notification so you'll be notified on our next video. Now, to get us ready for towing, I'm just going to reposition the tow bars from their stowed position and pull the bars out slightly so we can prepare to attach it to the vehicle. And now I'm just going to pull the H2 into place. All right, now we're ready to attach the tow bar to the base plate of the vehicle. And we're gonna do that one arm at a time. I'm gonna show you how easy that is. Just get the tow bar. You see you got a triple bracket here. Make sure it's facing up as indicated here. You don't want it upside down or twisted. We just wanna line up the triple bracket with the base plate tab and take our half inch pin and insert it. Then we take our, what's called a quick pin. Now I'm gonna take my glove off so you can see this. This is the quick pin. You insert that in and, and then you clap it down. So that's one arm that's already attached. Now we're gonna do the other arm. Same thing. Lift it up, line up, make sure your bracket's in the up position. Line up the triple bracket with the base plate tab. Slide in the half inch pin. And again, take your quick pin and secure it. All right, so now the tow bar is connected. All right, the next item we're going to hook up is the safety cables. And I do that by just attaching one end to the vehicle. 
the other end to the hitch of the RV. Connect the second cable, same thing. One end to the vehicle and the other end to the hitch of the motor home. Now, per Blue Ox, you do want to crisscross these under the tow bar. And it's really for the same reason that we crisscross chains on a trailer. Should you have the unlikely event of a tow bar coming loose, uh, we're hoping that the crisscrossing of the cables will help keep our tow bar off the ground, at least until we get stopped. And next, I want to connect my coiled electrical cable. Now, this is how we connect our lights from the motorhome to our towed vehicle and how we keep our battery charged when rolling down the road. Now, this cable comes with a seven pin plug, and that's what most RVs have today. It also has a very large tab here, you'll see. We want to make sure that we get this tab inserted all the way where the tab that's on this lid comes in behind it to help secure it so it won't come out. All right, see that? Then on the other end of the cable is a six-way plug. Now, I like to run my cable over the tow bar. I've seen some people run it under. But this plug also has a tab that we want to make sure is inserted far enough with the lid on the plug here. Uh, goes in behind it to help secure it as well. All right Make sure she's in there good Good. All right, and the last thing I want to connect here is my uh, breakaway cable Now the purpose of this cable is in the again in the unlikely event that our vehicle becomes completely Detached from our motor home this cable will activate the, the breakaway feature and apply the brakes to the vehicle That way you don't have a runaway Hummer rolling down the road, right? So to connect this of course, I'll just take the small end and connect to the breakaway switch and then I'm going to connect the other end to the hitch of the RV now it is recommended that this end not be connected to anything related to your trailer hitch or anything connected to your trailer hitch uh, just in case you have a catastrophic failure right but I don't have anything else to hook it to so for now I'm going to hook it to the RV all right so we've got our tow bar connected our safety cables connected our electrical cord connected our breakaway switch and cable connected so we're good to go now now let's show you how we get the h2 prepared to flat tow as well as install our braking system okay to get the h2 ready for flat towing there's a couple things we just need to do and this is straight out of the owner's manual first of all put my foot on the brake turn the ignition to on don't start the engine even though you can but don't you don't have to start it just turn it to on we then put the transmission in neutral and now to get the transfer case into neutral, I'll hold down the four wheel high and the four wheel low lock buttons at the same time. And you'll see in about 10 seconds, a red light will come on for neutral. Sometimes you can hear a click. I just heard the click. Okay. You see now the transfer case is in neutral. We're ready to flat toe. Finally, I put the vehicle back in park, which is again, straight from the owner's manual. And I get to re turn the switch off and take the key with me because the H2 does not have a steering lock on it. So I do not have to travel down the highway with my ignition on just so I can unlock the steering wheel. Finally, I'm just gonna release the emergency brake. And now we are ready to flat tow. Now I do want you to know that if you do not have this type of vehicle, your system may be totally different. So make sure that you read your owner's manual and do exactly what it says because again what i just did is straight from the owner's manual now let's install the brake what i do with the patriot 3 brake for this particular application is just get it set up in here and usually i sort of back the seat off a little bit because it's kind of sometimes a little too close so what i want to do now is just get the hook or the claw as i call it this claw right here just goes around the brake pedal so let me get that set up Show you what that looks like in just a minute okay that's on we're good there and then i'm just going to plug up the 12 volt and this is really the only thing that's running down going down the road with with the h2 is the 12 volt plugs into um, an outlet over here right then i actually plug in the breakaway plug it in and now we're just going to power the system up what we want to do now is set the system up so Pull the seat forward now. I sort of, you know, I sort of learned about where it needs to be. I want to be right there touching, and then you try to set up and see if it works. All right, you see the red right there? 
Okay, it's not it's not set up correctly yet, so we got to keep sort of fudging with it until we get it right. See how much how it goes back so far with the seat. All right, let me make sure I got it all the way down. And again, you just have to play with it some to get it. Sometimes to get it right. All right, let's bump it a little more here. Let's try to set up again. Uh -uh. There we go. There, that's it. See how it, how it didn't turn red? Now you'll see it's going to be in green mode. So we're good to go. Now the last thing that we do before I pull off is a light check. Okay, one final thing, these arms actually extend and lock into place. And you'll see this little uh, latch right here pop up when it's locked in. Sometimes I can just push the H2 back and lock them in before I even leave if I'm on level ground. But if not, then I just have to pull forward until they lock. So let's try that now. We'll see if I can push the H2 back and you can see how this latches in place. Here we go. Oh yeah, both of them locked in. You heard them and saw them. So now we are ready to flat toe. Well, that's going to do it for this video. Hey, I hope our time together has been helpful. All the items that we showed you today are from Blue Ox, and their website is linked down below in the description. Hey, we hope to see you in the next video.